Bob Diamond here. Follow me, let's go to the car, which is sitting ice cold. Come on. Rochelle is behind the camera, and I'm going to guide her to the back seat of the car. Come on and get in. Walk on through, open the door, climb in, and I will join you. Give us a little bit of action in the back seat as far as the images go. Comfy? No. The car's comfortable, I'm just not. Okay. And let's look at the headliner and just clean as a whistle. Watch your arm. And I'm going to roll the window down for you. And I'm going to roll this other window down. First thing I'm going to do is lean over here and turn on the battery cutoff switch. Now, my dad in the Coast to Coast run decided that he needed to have some music, and he put in a cassette player, which four screws, and it's gone. He also had the radio redone, where the AM is now an AM-FM, and you double push the first button, which is also power. It becomes a three-way button, so you can go power on, AM, FM, your choice, and power off. put a fuel pump into her when we went 12 volt to speed things up a little bit in the start. Obviously it was never a part of the the Kutra Mall. So we're going to turn the ignition, give a couple of seconds for the fuel pump to send some fuel up to the carb. For a start. Pump one, pump two, starter. And give her a little bit of juice. Last time I cranked her up was two weeks ago. Last week. Last week? I'm reading 87,952 miles. Occasionally, the fuel gauge sticks on the crank up, which it's sticking right now. And it will unstick with one smack right near the gauge. And I'm gonna do that real quick. And we now have a full tank. And I did top it off last week when we took it off. So well, let's back out and get to where we're going to have some light and take some of those pictures that you would like to see also. Also running around the block. Just to say that we did. One heavy girl. We'll go ahead and take. 
take her out on the highway just so you can see her shift through her three gears. Big car should have a big horn, right? Okay, we're back. Before I pop the hood, I'm going to give you a interior tour real quick. Hopefully the lighting will 
keep up with us. In the back are a couple of speakers lying on the deck back there, which are from his cassette player. They're just sitting there, a couple of computer-like speakers. And she's running. She's got really good rubber. tires. Sitting here at idle. Cool as a cucumber. Battery's charging. Full tank of gas. Oil pressure's happy. Everything works in this thing. they put in. Now, we are absolutely watertight. We have a spare with no mileage on it whatsoever. And part of the collection of the original owner's manual, the diary from the trip, the original service manual, photographs, award after award after award, spare parts, a cushion for short people or those with a injured tailbone and on and on and on and on mostly first place and second place Okay, we're back. I'm going to drop the top and turn on the headlights, hit the brake lights, and RC is going to walk around and shoot them. I haven't tried this yet, so here we go.
and we're still totally cool. So go shoot the head on. I got the little side yeah, fins, those, yes. Yep. And then there is a fog light that turns on from another switch. And so we're all working there. Go to the brake lights. Or if you have time to see what the turn signal looks like from the front. You're going to turn on the right, you're going to your right. Right turn blinker and the left turn blinker. Now we're going to walk around the back. Yes. Okay. Okay. Come on up to the windshield up, wipers. The radio is a tube, it's going to take some time to warm up. Honestly, don't feel like doing it at the moment, but it does work. Anything we forgot? Not anything that I would be concerned with. Um, Alright, I'm going to kill the engine. And go underneath. Let's see how fun this is. Show the front seat. Pardon me? Show the condition of the front seat. I did. Okay. I did. Alright, so she's been sitting here long enough to leak some. I'm going with, she could have had two drips. Let's find out. And... I see no drips. She's clean. How crazy is that? What's going on in the undercarriage? Let's take a look from the other side. No drips back here either. So this is looking from the rear end forward. Everything is looking pretty sharp. While I'm down here, you can see the rubber. And I'm not seeing anything that looks problematic. Now I'm gonna go up to the front and look back. Looks clean, I see no drips on the concrete at all.